Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. This is my FlySky GT3C and it has one of the most common problems of this transmitter, which is broken button. As you can see on this dial, you can press it down to access all the settings. Unfortunately, it is broken. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Let's turn it off first and take the battery out. And then you're gonna have to remove the grip. Here's a spudger from a mobile phone fixing kit. Run it along the gap to pull the grip out. And there we go. Next, remove these two rubber plugs. So, uh, again, use the spudger to gently push the rubbers out like that and then you're gonna see these two screws remove both of them next you're gonna have to loosen one two three four five six screws uh, you don't have to completely remove them, just uh, loosen them enough so you can uh, kind of spread the transmitter out a little bit so you can remove the, the screen. And just like that, just uh, spread it out just a little like that. And then you can remove the top part like so because it just uh, it just because this thing just sit because uh, this thing just sit on top of it so you don't really have to take everything apart you just uh, remove it enough to spread the top out like this. And then you can lift it up. Next, remove these three wires. Uh, don't worry if you're gonna put it back uh, wrong because uh, all of this uh, has unique wires. So this one is the longest one. The middle one is the smallest one. And this one has four wires. So very easy to put them all back together next you're gonna have to undo some of these screws not all of them so you're gonna have to remove one two three and four screws As you can see, I didn't remove uh, these two because these two screws are the ones that hold the dial, uh, the rotary dial. So once you remove all the four screws, you can lift the screen up like this. Next, I'm going to remove this dial. Uh, the reason I didn't remove this before, so I can uh, hold this. And then uh, so it doesn't drop and I don't lose it. And there we go. Now I can remove this safely. And next, once uh, I take this piece out, you can just push it like that and it is going to drop off. So the problem is that this switch uh, is broken over time so you're gonna have to find a spare to replace this here i have all the switches this 
type of switch uh, so to be honest i don't really know what it's called but i'm gonna put a link in the description so you can uh, buy a kit uh, buy a switch kit like this so you can uh, fix uh, many many things it's either that uh, or this one will also work it, uh, it is almost the same so i i think uh, i'm gonna replace the original type with a different one so it maybe it will last longer let's go to sell the, the switch to remove the switch hit it on the side and try to pull it up one side at a time And here's the new switch. Before I put everything together, let's uh, try that out first, if it is working. And then, battery. Like that. Now, let's see. Right, so. Here's uh, the dial. To put the dial in put it like that and then push it in like that so right the moment of truth perfect now it is working so let's go back go back one more time mm, it is working perfectly now oh. anyway Yep, it is working. So, let's put it back together. And well, to put it back together, it's just a uh, reverse of uh, when we pull it out. To make it easier, let's... Uh, oh, well. Oh, to make it a little bit easier, let's uh, pull this out first. First, the dial. Put it in like this first, uh, to one side, and then push this small shaft into the rotary encoder. And then the cover uh, from the top. Go in like that. it then put the screw in If you pull all the buttons out, don't forget to put them all back in. Uh, 
counselor this one it is you're gonna have uh, you're gonna say there are two sides one high point a low point the high point goes on this side like this if you put it in correctly this uh, row of switches is going to sit flush on the first plate otherwise it is going to look like this uh, which is uh, not nice so in like this now now put the screen back in like so and then small screws just like that and next are these plugs the long one goes in the back next the three pin one goes into the middle And finally, the four pin one goes in the front. There it is. It is impossible to put them in wrong because uh, they are all different. Now, spread the handle. And then push it in like this and close it back so I'm gonna show you again spread the handle put it in one side at a time and then close it back like that next top screws you gonna see the short ones and close them with the rubber that we pulled out earlier the other one there it is next all the screws must go in And finally, the grip. And the battery. Oh. And there it is. Perfect. And before I go, let's try it with a car. Um, here's the SNT uh, Q25 R27, which is a very cute Nissan uh, Skyline. So, turn it on. Now I have to turn the transmitter off first. Then, hold the button until it blinks uh, rapidly to buy it uh, buy uh, hold the buy and turn the transmitter on now it is going to blink slowly and it is done turn transmitter off and on again and there it is very nice 
and there it is. Uh, I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.